What's up, you two? It's me, DJ Brandon, back at you. Um, sorry, I haven't been doing a lot of gig logs lately, but uh, been busy. Found a point need not to do any, that many more gig logs. But um, anyway, um, this next gig we got coming. It's gonna be a school dance again uh, for a private two private schools doing a dance together, which is cool. So um, I'm gonna bring a little bit more sound. Uh, I went to go buy me a third server in Vega cabinet and putting the Italian subwoofer in it. It was 2400 watt 18 inch subwoofer. Um, that's what I wanted to do. So I got it sitting there in the living room right there. And we'll be putting some lighting there and some design spots and global trusts and the Martin scanners right here. All kind of cool stuff. But uh... All right, everybody. What you're seeing right here is the inside of the uh, Servan Vega cabinet. Um, it's the EL36. They already have it pre-drilled, which is really neat. As you can see here, these little holes. There's another one. Uh, let's see right there. Just a bunch of pre-drilled holes, which is pretty neat. Um, I'll put the better sub in here. It came with a thousand watt peak, 500 watt RMS sub, so I'm putting a, you know, 2400 watt peak sub in here. So I want to get more power. Um, the casters I have to buy for this thing. Um, the casters that came with it uh, are pretty good, uh, but I have to buy additional lock washers so they won't rattle apart. I already have two of these, two more other subs. I have a total of three of these, which is pretty cool. So it's not too bad. This is what it looks like on the inside. It actually fires upward into this hole down here. And it goes back out and out of the horn, as you see here. So it's gonna be very powerful. Again, here's the cabinet once again. All right, got it taken apart. It's upside down. These are the screws that came with the uh, sub. Like I said, it's pre-drilled, so it's really nice. It's all Allen wrenches. The grill there is actually held on with all these screws here. And I got the feet already on there and the casters. As you can see here, these are the drivers. Uh, that's the stern bag over there. It's the original one. I never used it. I'm gonna go ahead and sell it on eBay like I did the other two. An eight ohm sub. They're both eight ohm. Um, one thing I did like about this is that they do have heat sinks. It has um, you know a bigger port in the back so it can breathe better. It's a little bit bigger magnet for the power that I'm pushing. Once again, here's the stern bag again. These are basic paper cone. It's actually made in China. Um, this is an Italian subwoofer. Italian. Italians know what they're doing, man. BNC, you know, they are the supplier of Yorkville, which I really love those subs too. I like the Serum Vega look a little bit better though, as far as cabinet. So, so I just bought this sub mainly for the cabinet. So. All right, guys, we got it mounted in there. There you go. Got all the bolts in. Got it wired up. Got it all wired up there. And Green Bay Packers just won the Super Bowl 2011. That's all right. Cowboys will be there next year. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Um, big shout out to everybody who subscribed to my channel. 
and uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'll be pushing this with the uh, Crown XTI one uh, 2000 amplifier. So I got three Crown XTI 2000s for three of these subs, and then a PLX 3602 for the JBL tops. So it, it sounds really good. Um, they're all digital amplifiers, which is really good. So I mean, I've been running these mini amplifiers on one circuit, have I had a problem? That's why I use digital amps. You know, non-linear. So, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm sorry I haven't got back to some of y'all. I get so many emails, so sometimes it's best to call me. Just go through my website. You find my phone number on there. Just give me a buzz. If you have any questions about this, I keep it rocking. Peace.